Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to use Microsoft Loop as a knowledge base. We'll show you how to create a workspace. Create a questions table. Create a contributor group. Add questions and answers. Order questions by priority. And embed the knowledge base in Teams. We're going to build a knowledge base where your team members can ask questions. You can set the status and the priority of the answer, which allows contributors to answer questions that need the most urgent attention. The first thing we need to do is create a workspace. To do that, click the circular plus icon. Type knowledge base into the title box. Then hover over the image at the top and click update cover. Select a cover from the list of preset designs. Then hit the update button. Next, click the emoji and select an icon from the list. If jumpstart is disabled, hit create. Otherwise, add your members to the invite box. Then hit continue. And finally, hit create. To complete the first step, set the page title to questions and style the page to your preference. A question mark is a good choice for an icon. When you're ready, move on to step 2. The next step is to create a questions table. To do that, type forward slash table and select table from the pop-up. Now hover over the top of any of the column borders and click the plus icon. Click until you've got five columns. Double click the first column header and type question. Name the second column answer. Name the third column send to. Name the fourth column status. And name the fifth column priority. Now hover over the send to column header and click the down arrow. Select change column type from the drop down. Then click person. Next, change the column type of the status column. This time, select label. Then click add label group. Set the label group name to status. For the first option, type answered. And for the second, type unanswered. Then hit save. Click any of the cells in the status column. Then hover over the options and click the pen icon. You can now select your preferred color. When you're finished, move on to the priority column. This time, Select Label, then Priority. Next, click any of the cells in the Priority column. Then hover over the options and click the pen icon. Now add a 3 in front of Low. A 2 in front of Medium. And 1 in front of High. That's it for the questions table. Now let's move on to step 3. In this step, we want to automatically notify the contributors whenever you mention the team leader in the Send To column. Start by opening the web version of Outlook. There, click the three dots in the top right. Then go to Rules. And then Manage Rules. Next, click Add New Rule. Set the rules name to Questions. Then click the select box under add a condition and select message body includes. You can use the page name and file type to detect notifications. Just mention yourself in the table and check your emails. You'll see the page name followed by dot fluid. Enter the full name into the text box. Then click the action select box and select forward to from the drop down. Then enter the names of people who can provide answers to the questions. When you're done, hit save. 
Before we start answering questions, let's make an answers page. To do that, click the plus icon and select new page. Set the page title to answers. Then style the page to your preference by adding a cover design and icon. Now head back to questions. There, highlight a question and copy it. Then hover over the answers page on the left and click the three dots. Select new subpage. Now paste the question into the page title. You can then fully answer the question. When you're done, click the copy icon at the top and hit the copy button to ensure the link is copied correctly. Now head back to questions and type click here into the answer column. Then highlight the text, click the three dots on the format bar, and select link from the list. Then paste the link into the address box, and hit insert. Finally, click the cell in the status column, and set the question to answered. Now let's sort the questions table by priority. We're going to start by adding a new question. Mention the team leader. Set the status to unanswered. Then set the priority. To sort the table, click the sort icon in the top left. Then click add a sort. Now click the first select box and choose priority and leave the other box set to ascending. You should now find that the table is ordered with the highest priority questions at the top. To take things one step further, you could embed the knowledge base into a team's channel. Start by heading to the questions page and clicking the copy icon at the top. Again, click the copy button to ensure the link is copied correctly. Next, open a Microsoft Teams channel and click the plus icon at the top. Select website from the list, or type website into the search bar if you can't see it. Set the website tab name to knowledge base. Then paste your link into the URL bar. Finally, hit save. Perfect. Your team members can now access the knowledge base directly from the channel. That's all for this video. If you have any ideas on how to improve the knowledge base, let us know in the comments below. And remember to check the description for additional resources. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.